Crimean telegram channels report that something is burning at an airfield near Nova Fedorivka in occupied Crimea. This is Russian Mad Max assault, with Ural Yolo's vehicle towards Robotine and worse, kinda of succeeds by reaching the trench and left the vehicle abandoned there. If the concept is a one-way vehicle to bite into a trench, I guess it worked. Watch until the end, where Russians are finished with cluster munition. Damage to U.S. supplied M113 A3 APU armor. The M113 A3 shows good survivability from fragments, and due to the isolated placement of fuel outside the armor volume, it also has high fire safety. Footage of a German-supplied Flakpanzer Gepard Spag in Ukrainian service downing a Russian Shahed 136 over the Odessa area with 35mm autocannon fire. It's the third year of the war, and the Czech president has to reiterate points that should have become obvious to everyone a long time ago. I believe that uh, Ukraine is equally important for Europe uh, as it is uh, for the United States and the rest of the world. Because uh, it's not uh, just about the defense of sovereign country and its territory. It's about uh, the principles. And these uh, principles matter uh, for the United States uh, the same way as uh, for us. If Russia succeeds in Ukraine, then uh, the whole transatlantic uh, community uh, will not be trusted uh, anymore because uh, we are talking about uh, protecting our values, but we are not doing enough to protect them in practice. The UK just announced a new 500 million pounds, $620 million aid package for Ukraine, the single largest announced by the country. The package will include Storm Shadow cruise missiles, 1,600 strike and air defense missiles, more than 400 vehicles, 60 boats including offshore raiding craft, rigid raiding craft, and dive boats, as well as maritime guns. More than 400 vehicles, including 160 Husky MRAPs, 162 armored vehicles, and 78 all-terrain vehicles. Nearly 4 million rounds of small arms ammunition. 
Ukrainian Minister of Foreign Affairs Dmitro Kuleba publicly revealed that Ukraine is in talks to acquire four additional MIM-104 Patriot SAM batteries. Per Kuleba, negotiations are underway between us and the relevant countries and the USA. The US is preparing a larger-than-normal aid package for Ukraine to be launched soon after new funding is approved, according to reporting from Politico. The package may include Bradley IFVs, Humvees, air defenses, artillery shells, and M113 armored personnel carriers. Russian MP Zhiravlev is outraged that life has become the main value among young Russians. What if tomorrow there is a big war? And if tomorrow we go on a march, who will fight? I was brought up in childhood in this way. First is my country, then my near and dear ones, then my values, and only then my life. Facts to know about Zhiravlev. He still hasn't died for the motherland, even though the SMO is in its third year. He has a daughter who is an Austrian citizen, apparently not planning to die in Russia either. I am at any moment ready to give the life of MP Zhiravlev for the motherland. And not only his life, Russians' comments appeared. У нас поколение 30 лет воспитывалось, что, да не, 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 там сказать, у нас главное что, ценность какая, какая главная ценность, жизнь главная ценность, понимаете, меня с детства воспитывали, меня, я не знаю, у меня сначала страна, потом мои родные, близкие, потом мои ценности какие-то, а потом только своя жизнь, вот это вот ценность. Да. Ukrainian President Zelensky, today I welcomed a bipartisan delegation of the United States Congress. I am grateful for this visit following a very powerful and critically important decision for us. The people of Ukraine were counting on this decision. We are glad that the United States remains with Ukraine, that it remains our main powerful ally. We discussed military macro-financial support and military assistance, including the need for artillery shells, long-range missiles, electronic warfare equipment, UAVs, combat aviation, and support in developing the Ukrainian defense industry. We also talked about the confiscation of Russian terrorists' frozen assets, support for Ukraine on its path to NATO, security commitments, Ukraine's peace formula, and U.S. participation in the first inaugural peace summit, said Zelensky. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.